Hey guys, it's Stu. Uh, just another inbox review. Um, this particular kit I actually sourced from a very good friend of mine who's at ISM, Wesley Ellsmore. Um, if anybody's familiar with him, he's actually usually on Paul's Hangouts, Paul at ISM. Um, they always t tend to rib him, <laughs> saying, where's the bear, Wes? <laughs> particularly Anthony. Um, if ever you want to go on a hangout with them, don't be shy. Go on it. It's a brilliant laugh. They always make you feel so welcome. Yes, you get a little bit of ribbing, but if you're used to that, you know, it's it's not meant personally, but it is a good laugh. And they're two hour set builds on a Saturday. Oh, they're hilarious. Um, yeah, as I say, don't be scared to go on them. If anybody's got Facebook and they want to go on them, just look up Paul Bretland's um, or Wesley Ellsmore, or Anthony Coulomb, Sebastian Schuf, and sometimes you'll find that they actually send a link which you can click on to and join the Hangout as well. Alright, um, so there you go. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with the inbox review. As you can see, this is the Sturmgeschütz 4, or SDK FZ163. They were chiefly used for armoured support of the main brigade during a tank battle and were basically used as tank killers. Um, they could be extremely lethal um, up against Shermans. They used to open them up like a tin can. And, believe it or, and basically the original one, which was a Stug 3, was developed from the Panzer 3. This was a follow-on which I think entered the service around about 1942-43. And that was developed from the Panzer IV, and I think they were used in most of the major battles from Kursk onwards until the end of the war. In fact, if you watch the film Fury, there is a quick glance of one during a battle sequence, and it will just show you how effective they were. Okay, anyway, let's get on with the inbox review. As you can see, it's the familiar old white box art, which I adore. And then we'll just open up the box. As you can see, you've got the familiar instruction sheet, which you normally get with Tamiya, with the illustration of the vehicle on the top of the page, and then two illustrations of two other kits you can get in the armoured vehicle range of Tamiya, and also a history of the vehicle itself. Open it up, you've got the familiar sprue tree to give you an indication where all your parts are. Okay, first stage is the assembly of all the running gear. Then basically you've got the exhaust housing and the assembly of the rear of the bulkhead, rear bulkhead of the actual lower hull. And then turning onto the lower hull is the assembly of the suspension arms, etc. Then the placement of all the running gear, which I shall leave till last. And there's an illustration of how they should line up with the actual kit. Okay, then stage five is the assembly of the gun and the barrel. Now I will be getting a metal barrel basically because if you use the plastic one you get a horrible seam line down there so you get a nice clean image. Okay. Then assembly of the upper hull and fitment of the gun interior. And then moving on, there's more assembly of the upper hull with the fire extinguishers, tools, etc., headlamps, and so forth. And then there's an illustration of the kit to the left hand side at the top view of it. And then obviously the assembly of other items there, including the commander's cupola. And then adding them to the upper hull. Okay. And then you've got the armour protection on either side of the front of the tank to assemble to the hull. And then you go on to the final stages of the assembly, which is the fitment of the hatches and the what is that? It's the telescopes, etc. More tools, etc. And then on the side you've got the lineup of where the hatch goes. Okay. And also then the fitment of the MG42. And then you've got the assembly of the Schutzen, which was actually used as armour protection to the side of the bank tank to basically stop anything hitting it. And then the final assembly of the Schutzen to the tank, including the spare tracks. Okay. And then the final two tow bars at the end of the back of the tank. Okay, and then obviously to the next page, you've got the colour call out. Now, you can just do it in the old Dunkel Gelb, 
I am going to do it with a slight camouflage, so I may well do some research on this. Okay. And then you've got a photograph of the final kit, as it should appear, with the figure, which I actually, sorry to say, this guy's missed out. Again, if I look on the uh, intermediate page, you've got a colour guide as to how you can paint him up. Okay, again, I'll be using washes, possibly oils, to bring out more details of the figure. So that's basically the assembly sheet and the instruction sheet. Okay, moving on to the actual kit. This is the lower hull. As you can see, it's quite small, uh, standard size for a light infantry tank. And then you've got the sprues right here uh, with the back of the hull. And then obviously some of the running gear and tools, etc. And you can see the fire extinguisher there. That will come out lovely with a wash and then some of the tools. Okay. And some of the hatches. Right, so that's all that. And as you can see, the back of the running gear. And then obviously you've got the decal sheet, if you can see underneath, which isn't all that much. Okay. Then the second sprue is basically the Schutzen, either side of the tank. And the captain's uh, commander's cupola. Okay. Amongst other things. Again, the detail on these is extremely good. And you've even got, if I can find it, bear with me, guys. No, I'm not going to find it. Never mind. And obviously, you've got the upper hull as well, which is beautifully cast. Um, again, you can get some zimmer. I think there were zimmer used on these. I'm not sure. Um, if you can, you can actually obtain them from a company called ATAC, uh, which Mike Cohen actually sourced for me. So thank you, Mike, on that. That's brilliant. I managed to get that from my tiger, as and when it turns up. Um, and then obviously you've got the engraving detail on one of these skirts, side skirts, as you can see. Superb. And then you've got the commander right there, if the damn thing's going to focus. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Hang on, bear with me, guys. I think the trouble is I've got it against the box and it's focusing on the box. Let's have a look. Where are you, you devil? Come on. Ah, oh, here we go. Come on. I think that's as best as I'm going to get. Again, that's going to come up lovely with a wash. Okay. And then you've got the old familiar rubber tracks, which I will not be using. Again, I'll be sourcing aftermarket tracks for those, just to give it that natural sag. So, basically, not a lot to the kit. Um, shouldn't take all that long to build, to be honest with you. Um, in terms of detail, superb, as to me it always is. No doubt it will fit to absolutely fall together. And I look forward to building that, possibly sometime in the new year now, because obviously we've got Christmas coming up, and I've got a couple of group builds to take part in. Uh, so it'll probably be built around about spring, I should imagine. And again, Wesley, if you're watching this video, mate, thank you ever so much for this kit, um, and thank you for the really good deal you gave me on it. And I'm sure I'll catch up with you in the next Hangout, as and when that will be. I don't know, possibly in a week, maybe next weekend. Anyway, that's it for me for now. I uh, hope you enjoyed the inbox review. Um, I'll s probably do another one at a later date, or maybe an update on my um, R75. I managed to do a little bit of work this weekend on it, not a lot. Um, as I've had the missus over, uh, she's had to have a little bit of cheering up so far, so I didn't get much time to do much modelling. Anyway, I hope all you guys who went to Telford had a fantastic time. Uh, I've seen some videos on Facebook and some of the pictures there, and the quality of the models I saw were superb. And uh, next year I'm going to plan it a bit better, and I'll definitely meet up with you guys there at the show. Alright, so until now, happy modelling, get kick crazy, and I'll see you on the next video.